may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer quest in the bottom. Hope everybody out there is having a pleasant day. Today is Wednesday, the 7th of February. Already into the, pretty much the second week of February, people, it goes by pretty quickly anymore. And, as always, the news just doesn't keep getting, well, it doesn't get any better, does it? <clears throat> Looks like we're getting closer to the vision we had so many years ago with Russia it is getting out of control now very well understand that Putin is up for re-election it plays a big role and I do believe what we're seeing what's going to happen on April the 8th with the solar eclipse I think it's a warning from us for us now Kim Fisher and many others have been seeing President Putin including me one one dream I had I did not tell you guys I saw him in a control, a command and control center. It's been about two or three years ago. He was with a bunch of his generals and they was all plotting against him. And he was all by himself. Now, doesn't mean Putin's a good guy. It just means that there's a law at play here, including the military complex that runs Russia, the same way it runs the United States here with our military. We've got bigger pieces that's in play here, and Lucifer is making his way through each and every one of them. you got to understand what's happening out there. If you don't, you don't have a clue. That's why most of these other channels, the like prepping channel stuff, they don't know the Bible, and they don't realize that there's a greater force here. This ain't just man versus man. They don't believe in God, some of them. So you have a lot of people that's confused about what's happening today and what's out there. It's simply put this way. It's good versus evil. This is setting up the Antichrist system, what you're seeing today. And Satan's going to use the two big kids on the block, the two that love to fight with war, and all the nuclear weapons in the world pretty much is between America and Russia. Lucifer knows this, and he's going to use it to his advantage. And he eventually gets his way. But we won't be here to see it. But Medvedev, the former president of Russia, and thank God he's not in there, and it is Putin. President, uh, the former president, Dmitry, has once again bluntly told the people of the West that Russia will use nuclear weapons in a war with NATO because we have no choice. And I'm here to tell you they do it. God's already showed us that they will end up using nuclear weapons. This does happen. I don't care if people tell you it's not. Don't believe it. It will a thousand percent happen. Very soon, the rapture of the church will take place. Shortly thereafter, a great nuclear war between Russia, the former Soviet Union, and America will take place. I don't know who fires the first shot, but I know both countries do not win this war. But they do set up the Antichrist system. God showed it to me. I've seen the aftermath of World War III, and who picks up the pieces is the Antichrist himself. I've seen him going to and fro, rebuilding nations and gaining their trust that he can lead them to a brighter future. I've already seen it. So I already know the, out, the, out, uh, well, the aftermath of what all this happens. How Lucifer pulls off what he does. God's already showed it to me. Many will say, well, you don't have dreams of vision. I'm here to tell you. 
Just like in the days, many will tell you that doesn't exist today, it does. Many people, hundreds of thousands of people, have had the spirit and had the dreams and the visions and the pouring out of the spirit that what's to come. People will tell you that's not true, but it's funny that we're all seeing the same thing, as Lisa Boyce would say on Watchwoman 65. The spirit is very much alive and speaking to us. That's where we're getting all of our warnings. But with this news, once again, Russia pretty much letting us know they're going to use nuclear weapons. And I'm here to just tell you, it does happen. It says, uh, see, all NATO bosses are harping on we must be ready with war against Russia. Even though Russia has many times underscored that, that the conflict with NATO and EU member states was not in the plans and dangerous babbling is still going on. The reasons are obvious. It's necessary for a district voters to justify multi-billion spending on bothersome bander Ukraine. Indeed, gigantic sums of money are being spent on solving social tasks. But on war, it's a dying country, alien to taxpayers, with population that is scattered across Europe and is terrorizing its people. This is why the heads of the, th of the three states are emphasizing on a daily basis it is an imperative to get ready for war against Russia and keep providing aid to Ukraine, which is why it's necessary to produce more tanks, missiles, drones, and other weapons. But not all the European bosses are critically, uh, you know, lying to their citizens. If God forbid such a war break out, it won't go according to a special military operations scenario. It won't be fought in the trenches using artillery, armored vehicles, drones, and whatever. And I've told you that also. World War III does not last 48 hours. Many will tell you it will drag on, but I'm here to tell you, I've already seen it. It will not last more than 48 hours, if that. The first strikes between the two nations strikes Ukraine, and then Belarus, and then the nations of Russia and America will have a limited firing of nuclear weapons against each other. Moscow, Washington, New York, Chicago, uh, yes, Chicago, Illinois, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and there's many more that these missiles will, uh, will breach the atmosphere and hit the ground. Now that's what many of us have seen. We've been putting, piecing this piece, to, well, this puzzle together for some time now what God has shown not just me but many others and soon after World War III what's left of society and the two nations the Antichrist will pick up all the pieces and what's left of their nuclear arsenals his plan is to use those against Jesus Christ during Armageddon they will use chemical, biological, and nuclear weapons against Jesus. That's their plan. That was discovered in the Bible code many years ago. It does not succeed, which we all know this. Jesus just waves it off right back onto them. But they, with their pride, do believe they can defeat Jesus himself. Jesus knows this. He knows how their pride is, and that's why he's always ten steps ahead. But this... What you're seeing today is a prelude to Armageddon. Believe that or not, it's playing out in our time. Satan will use these two powerful nuclear nations against each other to gain what's rest of their arsenals during Armageddon. That's his plan. The Bible Code has told us that. So, if we piece all this stuff together, what we're seeing now is God eliminating the two kids, the big kids on the block. He'll use those to gain control of these two nations. And he does succeed with that. Because after World War III, the church is already gone. People will want water and supplies. And it will be very limited in supply. He will provide those things. He'll be able to do things that no man has ever seen. So, what you're seeing right now with everything that's going on in the world that makes no sense. Good, for, good, good is bad, bad is good, nothing makes any sense. I hear it all the time. We all see it with our own eyes. That's him. 
he is setting up the Antichrist. He's setting up the final battle between him and Jesus that will be fought in Armageddon in the territory of Megiddo, there in Israel. Jesus will come out victorious with blood up to the horse's mouth, basically. That's how much blood will be shed there where God will come against the forces of man and Lucifer and his fallen angels, and they will lose. And the millennial reign will start very soon after. What you're seeing is the last days of planet Earth, and you are got front row sick seat tickets to the greatest movie of all time. That's correct. That's what you're seeing now. Think about all these great movies that come out, these blockbusters. Well, I'm here to tell you the greatest blockbuster of all time is yet to come. We will be at the wedding supper of the Lamb very soon. That's correct. I know that you're listening to me. And God brought you here. You will soon be at the wedding supper of the Lamb. Along with your, with all the dead saints that believed in the blood of Jesus. We don't have much more time here. And thank God for that. We don't have to see any more children die. No more animals suffer. No more, no more anything suffering. The whole world suffering now as a whole, because evil has definitely taken its grips around the world. <sighs> what a good day it will be when we don't have to deal with it anymore. And that is soon to come to pass. Trust in the gospel. First Corinthians fifteen one through four. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. I saw four events. I still didn't understand them. I'm still putting them together. But what Jesus showed me personally was an earthquake in San Francisco shortly after World War III. Uh, we, are dis we disappear between this earthquake and what is to come with World War III. We disappear. I do believe it's in the middle of this thing that's going on between Israel and all of her enemies, which sets up the Psalms 83 war. That is all happening in front of you right now as we speak. Many of you don't even think much of it, but I'm here to tell you the final chess game is already in progress. Hence why on April the 8th, there will be a solar eclipse that draws an X over America. This process has been going on since 2017, forming this over the United States. God letting us know what is to come. So be ready. Get everybody ready. Because soon the rapture of the church will take place. And there is no in between. There's only heaven and hell. You have to make up your mind and make your decision of what's to come. In your path. You can't just sit on the sidelines and not pick a team. Everybody will have a decision to make. That's why it's so important to make sure we put our prayer request in the bottom of the description box so we can get everybody prayed for and get them on the right path and get them on that ark. That's what we got to do and we don't have much more time to do it. We're all trying to get through each and every day of this world, and it's not easy. A lot of us are tired and don't want to do this anymore, but we got to fight another day because that's why God put us here. I know it's not easy, especially when you're awake, there's nobody to talk to. I know I'm in it too. It's very hard when you're on your own and you're surrounded by everybody that's asleep, but we still have a job to do. And we're going to do that up until we're gone. We're going to scream and we're going to shout. And we're going to tell everybody how great Jesus is in the limited time we have. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for all those who are here each and every day bringing me into your household. Tell somebody today how great Jesus is. And soon after, let them know how little time they have left. The process of the Antichrist coming into power has already begun. It's already in play. Soon we will be home. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.
thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.